Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be customising the final three of the new Los Santos Summer Special cars. Uh, we're down to the Benny's website now. We have the Benefactor Glendale left, the Vapid Peyote and the Manana which we're all going to be customising today. So uh, please stick around the channel for that. Um, today we're going to be customising the Glendale, the Benefactor Glendale we can now get a lowrider version of it which is absolutely awesome um, I don't think many people asked for a lowrider version of the Glendale um, but it is really cool it's got loads of cool Benny's upgrades so that's what we're going to be checking out in this episode um, if you want to see any customization for the Yuga 4x4 the Declasse Yosemite Rancher the BF Club or the new Coquette D10 I did a live stream the other day where I customized all four of those vehicles if you want to check out the customization of those please refer to the live stream I'll link it in the description below and in the live stream pinned comment there is a time card for each of the cars so you can skip to the customization that you want to see uh, but today we're going to be customizing the Glendale as I mentioned it costs 200,000 you've all seen this vehicle before I've already gone ahead and bought the car here it is in the workshop so let's just jump straight into it and uh, see what we can do with this thing today. So, it costs 200,000 and it costs an extra 500,000 to make it into the Glendale Custom. So, not the most expensive Benny's car we've seen, but there we go. It looks absolutely fantastic when you do uh, customize it. And you can already make the Glendale quite low. Um, you can make it sort of a low rider, but it doesn't have hydraulics, it doesn't have interior customization, it doesn't have all the nice pinstripe liveries and all of that good stuff. So that is what we're going to be doing right here. So not going to bother with armor and brakes and everything we're just going to do the important stuff so you can change up the fuel tank the stock one is going to be the primary color you can have a secondary color livery or you can go for the chrome tank um, i quite like just the stock fuel tank it matches up with the primary so i'm going to leave that the engine block we can change up the engine block now and make that a bit nicer i'm going to go for the primary ribbed valve cover and we can obviously upgrade the engine if you want to do that the exhaust most of the exhausts are fairly similar to what we can already get on the glendale so we have the stock glendale exhaust we have the quad exhaust which just adds the stock exhaust on the passenger side and on the driver side we can go for the big bar exhaust we can go for the twin big bar which is again just on both sides We've got the titanium big bar and that on both sides. The shotgun exhausts, which are like a chrome tipped one. And we've got a titanium version of that. And then we've got the side mitered exhaust, which is like a nice side pipe there. I don't think this vehicle suits side pipes, so I'm not gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the shotgun exhausts. I think they look really nice. On the hood, we've got the stock hood. We can go for a secondary color hood, which is also on the roof. So the secondary color will affect any secondary parts you choose and also the roof color. We can go for the custom hood, which just adds uh, like a single vent instead of the double vent. Uh, we've got a secondary version of that. We've got the custom primary pinstripe, which just adds that nice little secondary pinstripe. And then we've got a flipped version of that. Then we've got the dual filter blower. We've got the benefactor blower, uh, which also has the primary um, air filter in there. We've got a secondary version of that. We've got the oval intake bug catcher, and we've also got the triple intake bug catcher. So if you really wanted to, you could go for a supercharged um, Mercedes um, a classic Mercedes if that's something you're into I'm not going to go for that because I don't like that look um, I actually think just the stock hood does look the best so I'm not going to change that we can do the horn I'm not going to bother with that hydraulics we've got all the usual hydraulics we got chrome pumps twin pumps quad pumps four in a row or the quad pump V pan the quad pump V pan is obviously the best one that's going to give you the most bounce so we'll go for that on the interior 
we've got all the usual lowrider um, trim options so we can get like striped leopard striped tiger zebra camo digital camo croc leopard tiger oh these are all the uh, padded ones now and you've you've seen all these before so i'm not going to run through that too in depth um but i'm just going to go for the hmm I'm just gonna go for the luxury striped camo or the luxury digital camo yeah luxury digital camo I think that looks the best the trim color um, is obviously going to just affect all of that I'm just gonna leave it um, in the stock black I think that looks the best we've got all the usual hood ornaments uh, or the bobblehead sorry not gonna bother with any of them we've got all the usual lowrider dials um, so we've got uh, Voodoo Schools, Plain Jane, all of those good things. Um, I'm not going to bother with any of them either. The steering wheels, we have got the stock Benefactor steering wheel, which does look a little bit ugly. It's like a three spoke with the Benefactor logo, but it's not the best quality. It doesn't look that great. So I'm going to go for um, one of these ones, uh, maybe the, the Lamb the Lombomba that looks like quite a old Mercedes looking steering wheel I don't know why but it just does we've got column shifters we could go for a plaque in the back we might just go for a Benny's neon plaque the ice now this is going to change the um, subs on the parcel shelf so we've got the square speaker shelf the round speaker shelf the premium sub trunk install and the extreme shelf install um, again I'm just gonna leave that stock because we can get some subs in the trunk which I am gonna do in a minute but I think it looks a little bit too crazy having all these on the parcel shelf and then the light color we'll just set that to ice white just make it a little bit clearer the headlights we can obviously fit the xenon lights if we want to do that um, but it does have these like yellow light covers um, so I feel like if you go for the xenon lights, it looks a little bit weird um, So I'm just gonna leave them stuck the neon kits. We're gonna go for some neons today. It's a low rider after all um, I'm just gonna go for the side ones and I think we'll go for like a red um, So just a nice red right there um, the livery so we've got the rusted livery we've got rusted with stripes with the white stripes we've got rusted green flames we've got the clean white stripe we've got the clean green flames we've got the iced pinstripe which is very unnoticeable but you can see it just adds that nice little pinstripe along the side and it just follows around the wheel arches as well and um, I believe it adds okay apparently it doesn't add anything on the bonnet it's just on the side there but it does look really nice we've also got that in a summer version so the iced is like a white one and then we've got it basically in like a gold version we've got the mirage which again has more like pinstriping along the side but then it has the two-tone <laughs> with the white and then whatever primary color you choose we've got tribalistic which is again just another simple nice pinstripe it adds a bit bigger pinstriping on the side we've got some stuff on the bonnet now and also on the boot lid we've got the elegance one which is uh, a little bit weird i don't really like that um the way it splits up the hood there looks a little bit weird um and it does have pinstriping on the back and on the rear and obviously on the other side as well and that is all of them I'm gonna go for the iced pinstripe I think that looks really nice the plates we've obviously got all the usual uh, plates I'm just gonna go low and slow and we'll change up the plate to black and yellow the racks we've got all the usual benefactor glendale roof racks so um let me see here we've got the roof rack we've got the road trip and we've got the vacation um so all basically what we can get on the usual glendale right there the respray options now um 
I feel like we're going to go for like a rusty red color today so um, something like lava red uh, but then I'm going to change up the pearlescent to something like an orange um, something like that yeah uh, mm, that might be a little bit too orange um, maybe something just like gold there that looks really nice actually and then I'm just going to match that on the roof because I don't like that the roof is a different colour um, we'll just match that there that looks really nice it looks very much like an old Mercedes now um, Mercedes were always like a red colour in my eyes like these old ones um, again I'm going to leave the trim because I like how it is the crew emblem goes on the bonnet there in case you're interested we can do the transmission the trunk um, we've got the twin sub trunk install the triple sub trunk install the custom trunk audio install the insane trunk audio install and the extreme trunk audio install I think that one looks the best so we'll go for that the trunk door we can go for the stock one the secondary trunk the secondary stripe and the primary stripe none of that's going to change because the primary and secondary is now the same color but it basically does what it does on the hood um, where it adds like a stripe of the secondary colour and then you can choose to flip it if you want to um, that's something that's stock on the regular Glendale so you might have seen that in the past you can upgrade the turbo if you want the wheels, now we do have the new tuner wheels um, so we might go for some of them um, I feel like the fatter wheels like this, uh, the more like muscle looking wheels might fit this thing a bit better today. I feel like the Cracker Custom, and we'll paint those black. How does that look? Mm, that doesn't quite work how I was hoping it would. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, let's just go back down. Um, maybe something like these, the Cosmos Mark III. Um, yeah I think they look quite nice I do like those um, do we want to go for some tie lettering today um, I don't think so that doesn't look great and then we'll just tint that with some light smoke and that is the thing fully customized so not a whole lot you can change on this compared to the regular Glendale um, it basically just allows you to add hydraulics and the trunk and like the interior stuff uh, but apart from that most of it is just stock Glendale customization uh, but let's take it outside and see how this thing bounces all right, so here we are outside in our new Glendale Custom, and obviously it's morning, so we can't even see our neons working. I'm just gonna go down this little alleyway here, just so we can see our nice neons working there. Looks very nice, like an old Mercedes, and I've seen a lot of people um, do the like hydraulic upgrade. A lot of them, a lot of people put them on um, air ride suspension. Um, so I think it's a nice addition to the game. Let's see how this thing bounces um, It's not going to be up there with some of the best bounces Because um, the overhang on the front and back is quite big So it can it's sort of limited by how much it can bounce You can see it sort of bottoms out on the back there um, but it does bounce fairly high you can obviously raise the suspension up if you want to it will jump if that's something you like doing uh, you can go for the side bounce and uh, yeah I like just driving it around in the sort of lowered version it's really nice that we finally got a lowrider version of the Glendale uh, that is going to do it for today's video though I hope you have all enjoyed taking a look at the new Benefactor Glendale Custom not much you can change on this as I said it's mainly just hydraulic upgrades um, but it is really cool that we now have a bouncing lowrider version of the Glendale so thank you all so much for watching if you have enjoyed please smash the like button subscribe if you are new and uh, that's going to do it from me I'll see you in the next video